What's up everyone? Hope you're having a good day so far. So I wanted to make a video going over um, ranking stuff and uh, basically what people are defending this year in the PDC. Because if you don't know, the PDC works on a two year rolling order of merit. So the order of merit is based on how much money you've earned in the past two years. And uh, as the year goes on, the previous two years, money comes off. So it's all done on a rolling order of merit that way. So there could be a few people, in my opinion, who might slip down the rankings this year. And I wanted to have a look at what people are defending this year and if it's going to be an issue to them or not. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is my spreadsheet. And I'll try and explain it as best I can. So this column shows what their current rank is in the PDC. This column is what their name is. This column is their current prize money as of right now. Uh, there is a pro tour coming up, so this will be changing soon within the next few days. Um, this shows the, the earnings from their past 12 months. And this uh, earnings are the 12 months before. So as the two-year order of merit works, um, this is the, the money that will be coming off their rank. And then this will show what their new rank is and this will show what their ranking changes. So all I have to do is sort it by how much money they have um, they have earned in the past 12 months. Then I can work out how much money they've, they're going to be having off their order of merit. So if I filter this uh, largest to smallest, it will show what would happen if you took off 2018, pretty much 2018's order of merit money. So if we take off all of 2018 slash the first month of 2019, um, the, the 12 months before the last 12 months, if that makes sense, um, then um, Peter Wright won't be losing too much. Peter Wright will be losing uh, £219,250 of his order of merit. But if that was to happen, if the world were to end and there was no darts for the next year, Peter Wright would take the number one spot off Michael Van Gogh. And now... It's probably not going to happen in the next year, but maybe it will happen in the future. I don't know. But that's basically how this spreadsheet works. That's basically how I'm going to work this video out, okay? So I hope you understand. If you don't, like, message me on Twitter or something. I've, I've tried to explain it as best as I can. But anyway, so let's have a look at what has happened to the rankings and stuff. So Mark Van Gogh is defending nearly a million pounds. So, and that only drops in one position, which is absolutely nuts. Um, Going Price and Rob Cross... Um, going on what they're defending, even though they're defending a lot of money, they've earned enough in the past um, 12 months uh, to keep them uh, level, so three and four in the rankings. Uh, Nathan Aspinall, he would go up three places, um, so he would be the world number five. Uh, who's next? Dave Chisnell would be world number six, he'd go up four places. Uh, Glenn Durrant, who is defending no money from the previous... 12 months would go up 15 places to world number 7. Uh, Daryl Gurney would go down one place. Uh, Ian White would come up two places to number 9. Michael Smith and James Wade take a bit of a tumble here. Michael Smith would go down from world number 5 to world number 10, losing himself five ranking positions. Uh, James Wade would go down two places. We've got two more here. Christopher Tyski would make his way up to world number 12. Uh, Chris Doby would make his way up to world number 13, both gaining six ranking positions there. Uh, Vincent van der Voort. Now, Vincent van der Voort did have a tour card back in the previous 12 months. But I, if I remember correctly, he was very much injured. He well, didn't play anything, really. Well, according to this, he didn't play a single thing. Um, so he'd come up to world, world number 14, which is still this is very impressive. He must have. He's obviously had a good year on the Pro Tour and a good year... Um, all around compared to everyone else. So even with the money taking off, which would be nothing, he'd make himself world number 14. Um, Mentor Sulewicz and Adrian Lewis would both drop three places, making them 15 and 16. Um, Stephen Bunting wouldn't change. He hasn't lost. He's only lost He's lost 114,000 in that year. Um, but he's, he's earned more this year, which is the, the more important thing. Um, Jeffrey Deswan would come up two places to world number 18. Uh, Joe Cullen would go down four places because he's he's lost more money coming off this year than he earned in the in the previous year. I hope this is making sense, by the way. I understand it in my head, so hopefully you do too. Um, Jermaine Wasamina, he only lost 100 grand. He only to losing 100 grand this year, but he's actually gained 
122,000, So he got up three places. Uh, Dimitri Vandenberg, I think, I think it's about time he had a boost. If he has a good year this year, he will do absolutely fine. He'd go up uh, eight places to world number 21. Um, Ricky Evans up six places to world number 22. Johnny Clayton would go down quite a bit because he's he's uh, he's going to lose more from that year than what he has earned in the previous year. Uh, in the last 12 months, he'd go down seven places to world number 23. Steve Beaton would come up a place, which is always nice to see. I love to see Steve Beaton do well. Uh, Mervyn King would go down four places. Simon Whitlock would go down 12 places. Jamie Hughes would come up 20 places because he's not defending anything because he only just got his tour card. So he's got another year's worth of earnings before his, his money starts coming off. So he'd, he'd make it to world number 27 if he has another year similar to his last one. Um, Danny Noppet would go down one place. Um, Keegan Brown would go up one place. And this is what I wanted to make the video about, okay? This is the thing that interests me the most about what's gone on, and that is that Gary Anderson, if you took off his next, his previous 12 months, the 12 months previous to the last 12 months, I hope you understand, if you take off that ranking money, which will this will come off this year, 100%, it's going to come off this year, um, he will go down to world number 30. Gary Anderson might be world number 30 at the end of this year if he doesn't put any money on the table, if he doesn't earn anything this year or if he does badly like he did the previous 12 months uh, only earning less than a hundred thousand pounds in ranking money because obviously he was very injured and stuff and yeah so he'd be losing four hundred and thirty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds off his rank this year alone which would make him the second most like <clears throat> money off um Michael Van Gogh is the only person who's going to lose more money than him this year but he's Michael Van Gogh and so it kind of doesn't matter when you're Michael Van Gogh. Um, but yeah, so Gary Anderson could potentially go to world number 30 if he has another bad year, if he has another year where where he's not he's not earning or he's injured. Um, but yeah, so if you want to have a look at this spreadsheet, then let me know. I'll make it available if you, if you want to see it. And yeah, so basically what I wanted to achieve in this video was to let you guys know what, what prize money is going to be coming off the rankings this year and what that might affect how that might affect the rankings in in the future. So anyway, that's the video, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood it, because I understand it in my own head, but I appreciate it might be a little bit hard to follow. Um, leave a comment if you don't understand it. I'll try and explain it as best as I can, if there's any bits you don't get. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on it if you did. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.